Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to introduce you to another of the new Ripper Blades in the uh, lineup since Ripper Blades has started making the Ripper clones. This is one of the more popular models. This one is called the Needle. Now, interesting thing about the Needle, uh, this is a custom one-off that I had Ripper, or that I had Gary Ripper make for me a while ago called the Tentacle Blade. You'll notice some stark similarities. Very similar length and width on these, and a very similar design. So this blade that I requested, the reason that I wanted this design on this, is because I wanted something that, while it is a flat blade, was also very usable. This blade is light and thin, yet it's reasonably thick, which means that it's easy to spin around, and you don't get any wobble or a lot of undue stress at the joint. The needle has transferred a lot of that, so those same design cues, so it still has the thing, or it still has the issue with a flat blade, such that you want to be moving with the edge of the blade as opposed to with the flat. But if you do go with the flat, there's a lot less wind resistance on this model than there is on some of the larger ones. All right, so very nice, very thin and elegant. Uh, they called this the needle. I think that's a nod to Game of Thrones uh, and the the Alia Stark blade. Um, but uh, it's a very appropriate reference, I think. So it's a rapier-styled blade. You see it here in this rapier hilt that I have. It actually fits very well in this uh, Kit Sabers of Vispa. It'll fit between the two claws, which I like quite a bit. So if you've got a Kit Sabers of Vispa, this might be a really nice blade for you to look into. Uh, not the longest blade. Comes in at uh, between 28 and 30 inches, something in that neighborhood. Um, but it's a... It's a really nice, thin blade that makes a definite impact. If you are looking for a flat blade, or a flat dark blade style blade, but you don't want one of those massive things that you've seen around, uh, this, this is probably my favorite model that I've seen of a flat blade, which is why, again, this was, this was my, uh, my request. So, New Blade, the needle, lets you guys pick up a design that I've been rather fond of and that uh, didn't used to be available. I've actually seen people using this around in spinning videos quite a bit. As with any flat blade, there is some fragility. It's not meant for dueling, but of the flat blades, this is probably one of the most usable version or one of the most usable designs that Ripper has come out with. Uh, if this has been of use, please like the video, see me back here, and I think next we're going to be talking about the new Katana Blade.